Hey everybody, welcome to Dad Talk. Today I am your host, Eric Carroll, and we are live in Washington, D.C. at CPAC 2020. And I've got sitting here with me, Jerome Riviere. He is a uh, European congressman. How are you doing today, my man? Very good, really happy to be here. Yeah. CPAC is a great gathering place for people that uh, think alike. It's a, it's a good time to be here. And, uh, the main thing is that sometimes people that are patriots, people that believe in family, they are called by names by the globalists and they are like pushed out and uh, sometimes they feel alone in their country but the thing is that no we're not alone we are a great gathering of people in their countries that have the same soul and that want to cooperate together i agree and i think you know especially like what we talk about in the podcast a lot of like parental alienation that is not just a united states issue it's a worldwide issue and when we're facing issues as a world we need to come together and work together so it's nice to see people like you down at CPAC but for anybody that's not aware of what's going on tell tell our viewers a little bit about what you do so I'm a, I'm a congressman from uh, the National Rally in France. National Rally is a party headed by Marine Le Pen. Marine Le Pen was a runner-up in the last presidential election. She will be running and will be supporting her in 2022. And we hope to, to, to defeat Macron because uh, President Macron is a, is a globalist. He's a guy who believes in uh, open borders. He's a guy who believes in mass migration. And he has not been protecting our country at all. Uh, so we are, we are advocating a, a very different policy, very close to the one that President Trump is doing for the United States. We think that he has been extremely uh, successful. Uh, we have some signs all over the world that things are moving. My, my good friend uh, Eduardo Bolsonaro, who is uh, the son of the president of, uh, of, of Brazil, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and, and he's also uh, he's also a member of the Brazilian Congress. He's going to come to Europe to deliver his message. We'll go to Brazil also. I think it is important to, to see that, as you said, we all work, we all face the same troubles, we all face the same the same uh, mean action of those globalists that have been trying to destroy, they try to destroy nations, they try to destroy family, because those are values they don't believe in. Awesome, my man. And uh, tell, tell everybody a little bit about the importance about speaking up, attending rallies like this, that way that we can discuss our issues with everybody else in the network, and the networking is amazing that's, to that's meet really, people. Exactly, that's, that's the best thing. Uh, I, I discovered all those things three years ago when I, I came to meet with uh, Steve Bannon. Uh, he, became a, he became a good friend and, and Steve has been advocating the fact that all the patriots, all the nationalists, or all the deplorables. After all, I'm not going to be called the deplorables. This is how this, uh, from one deplorable to another. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That this is how this is how Hillary called the, 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 the people, the real people, the people that that do vote, that care about about their day job, that that work hard. So all these people have been isolated, and in fact, we need to network. We need to exchange. We need to see the, the problem and the solution. One example, quick quick question, quick example is immigration. Immigration is a is mass Mass migration is a very tough issue in the United States. It's an extremely tough issue in Europe. In France, we, we have when Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, opened her borders in 2015, millions of people came from Africa and the Middle East in, in Europe, and they they settled without, with, without without integrating at all. It's a it's a problem for the jobs. It, it is terrible. So what we did is we, we went to Congress. We met with uh, Representative Paul Gosar, Paul Gosar from uh, Arizona. He has the wall in his district, it's really interesting to discuss what, what, uh, what solution can be done. And the main thing, the main good thing about President Trump is when he has a will. So when there is a will, there is all, always a solution or a way. Well, what's crazy is we've seen a lot of different countries represented this past week. Again, we had Eduardo Bolsonaro here, and then I was watching last night during the Ronald Reagan dinner, where China, the people are actually saying, bring, you know, Trump, yeah. and, and make, yeah. make China, or make Hong Kong great again. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a lot of these countries are seeing the example that's been set and saying, hey, we want you to bring that over here, but it sounds like that's the same thing that you're seeing myself. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's a cascade of positive events, you know? We had just before, uh, uh, President Trump got elected, we had the referendum in, in England, in the UK, regarding Brexit, and Brexit won. I think this triggered, it was the, the, first, the, the, the first flame that triggered the event. Then you had the election of uh, President Trump. Now we have the Brexit that really did happen a couple of weeks ago at the European Parliament. Our friend from the UK, they, they left.
left and they are just doing what they want and they are going to, to take care of their country and Boris Johnson is going to be a great prime minister putting the, the UK first. And that now the next step for us in Europe is 2022 with France. And if France and if Marine Le Pen wins, this is basically the, the liberation from all the globalists. Uh, Germany with Angela Merkel is a little longer down the way because, she, the, because of the election cycle. But the, the, the key point, the one thing we will have to focus on if we want to make sure that the, there is a, there is a, a world of, of, uh, of uh, patriots that take over, is 2022 in France. You have to pay attention on that. You know, so we, you know, with, with, with President Trump, one of the big things was make America great again. But I've been listening to some of the people speak here. And for example, yesterday, day before, I listened to the, the, the Deputy Secretary of the Health and Human Services. And one of the things that we don't talk about, that they're talking about now, is how do we make families great again? How do we strengthen our families? And, you know, when you talk about globalism, the family gets under attack by globalism. And, uh, and on the other hand, um, I think that a lot of the problems that we have in our society actually stem from the fact that our, that our families have been under attack for so long. So we're, we're excited to see that there are actually positive things taking place toward the family. But tell us a little bit about the family issues that you see in we, your own country. We, have, we are under the families. We call them our small nations. You know, mm -hmm. in French, there is a way of calling you have the nation, you have your small nation. The small nation is your family. Because this is where things are, are transmitted. This is where you you give education. This is where, where you carry values. This is where this is where you, you become a man or a woman. Right. It is really important. But it is it makes you a, a free person. Right. So the globalists don't like that. Right. Because they don't want you to be free. Right. They want you to be a slave to the system. Right. So we under we, we undergo the, the same attacks on the family all over Europe. Yeah. They have they have, they have been trying to, 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 to push forward uh, the gender issue which right. which I'm sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, they are trying to, to, to dislocate family. They are trying to have the kids go earlier and earlier to school so that the system would take care of them instead right. of the parents taking care right. of them. They are trying to tell women that this is not cool to be at home. I'm sorry, it is not true. If a woman wants to be at home to raise her kids, she should have the opportunity have to do that. that. And they are trying to, 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 to tell people that we don't need a dad. Right. This is a big thing. Like the, 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 in, in, in France, we have this movement of people saying, you know, a kid can be done with uh, with whoever. He doesn't really need the dad. And I, I'm sorry, I have three kids. Right. And, and they do need their dad. Yes, absolutely. And you know, one of the things that I don't think we even look at, when we talk about socialism and communism, when Vladimir Mayor Lenin came to power, one of the first things he did was attack the family. Of course. And he attacked it through unilateral divorce. Knowing what you said, he's causing civil wars. Mm -hmm. And he's doing, he's putting something, this, this, the many nations that you're talking mm -hmm. about. The many nations are being destroyed at will. And yet what you talk about with the families, these are the the the, the, the air that the institution that carries forward your values, the education of children, bringing a, a boy to manhood, a girl to womanhood, and everything else. And uh, globalists, and when I say globalists, I will also say socialists, because yeah, they're the one same, and the same. It's, yeah, it's the same. It's, a, it's, an, it's the other side of the, of, the, of the same bill. Their attack is on the family. And what I see is that in order for us in America to make America great again, we have to be talking about these many nations as well and make the family great again too. Make it so that if that we can have two parent households, not that we have only a mother raising a kid, but only a father raising the children, but both together because that is the best best environment for the children. And I'm sure you would agree with that. I fully agree. What what we what we have to see is the project of the globalists. The project of the globalists is a new form of slavery. Mm -hmm. They want to enslave the people. So the least you know the least you're free the more enslaved you are right. the more you will produce for these people right so that's what they are doing and and by doing mass migration it is also a way of dislocating families right because it, it, it creates a, an unfair competition so I, I think that we have to we definitely have to overcome this uh, globalist project I feel that right now the wind carries us in the right way yes it, it did carry you in the, in the US with uh, President Trump make sure that he gets elected oh, well, make Sure that that. Make sure that it gives a good deal to the United Kingdom, a good trade deal, so that we show to the other European Union 
that the UK is successful without the EU and then we'll, we'll break free in 2022. That sounds great. It sounds wonderful. I'm going to let turn it back over to Eric. And yeah, my man. So, Jerome, tell a little bit of everybody where they can find you at. Uh, we are on the European Parliament. We have a we have a, a website where you can see what we're doing. And the, the one nice thing about the European Parliament uh, website is that it is uh, in many languages, including English. So, if you want to look at what we're doing, you can go there. I forgot what it is. It's uh, it's uh, Europa.eu. Europa.eu, ep.europa.eu. That is awesome, my man. Well, everybody, please go and check that out. And thank you for doing thank the you work for that you're me. doing. Thanks. Thank you, Jerome. Everybody, stick thank around. We'll be much. right back. Thank you. You have my contact. Yes, sir. Okay.